Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to set up a Java E8 project on Java 9 and using Open Liberty for that. So um, first I would like to download Liberty. So I would uh, like to use the development builds and the current one. So I will just copy the URL and download that with, uh, with that. And, and it's downloading. Then what I would like to do is to set up a Java E8 project. So we actually do this at the same time. So it's set up Java E8 project and call it um, proof of concept or call it Java E8. So it's a nicer name. And what, what it does, it, it goes to uh, Maven Central, pulls the Java E8 Essentials uh, archetype and uh, creates a Maven project with that. So now we have it. And uh, because Liberty is tiny, so as a 112 max download size, it is almost done. And what we can do here in Java E8, so I will just look briefly at the URI. Uh, and the URI and the POM XML, and you see this is Java 8 project. What I will have to do is to adjust to use JDK 1.9. This is actually not necessary, but um, let's do this in NetBeans. So I will just switch to to uh, Java to the to this created project. Would like to use this um, Java this, and what I would also like to do is. Uh, I would like to add the war plugin, and the reason for that is there is no plugin for NetBeans from Open Liberty, and I would just like to build in NetBeans and deploy to Open Liberty. So, um, how to do this? Um, what I will have to do first is to unzip Open Liberty, and this is the project WLP. So, um, and I will just name it. Open Liberty, Liberty Dev. And then go here and say, okay, what I would like to do is to create a Java E8 server. So how it works, I just say server create Java E8. And what Liberty does is it does the following. In user servers, there is a server Java E8 and drop-ins is the folder where uh, Open Liberty picks the wars. So what I would like to do is to copy that and add it to the directory. This is a trick what I usually do if I have to work with servers where there is no NetBeans plugin. So for development, it could be nice. So I think um, we have whatever is required to test that. And of course, um, I would like to use a Java 8 uh, or Java 9 feature here to show you that it actually works. So what I would like to do is to create, let's say, a logger. Let's do that. Logger exposer. And what I'd like to do is, I would like to use the new logger from JDK 9. and configure that. And then say system.getLogger uh, and the name of the logger is derived from the name of the class. So like that. So good enough. And then we could inject the logger here. Let's say do it stateless, mark it as stateless, and then inject the logger. And then just use it. Log. Do we have level, let's say, yeah, info? And then Hey, open Liberty on Java 9. So this is only available in Java 9. So it, it should work that way. So we have that. And uh, yeah, so let's see what happens. So what I would like to do is to start the server. 
So I would just um, switch to the bin and say server start Java EE8. And the server starts. It started. So what I would like to do is I would also like to use or to show you the log files. Uh, tail minus F and this is I think is called console.log. So and what we see here only JSP23 and 31 and 30 is activated so it actually does not make any sense to run the application because we need Java 8 support. So let's activate the Java E support. And the cool story is with Open Liberty, we don't even have to restart the Open Liberty. So um, let's do that. So I need another window. And there should be a folder or folder file server XML. So just open that. And we have the GSP23 feature, which is a little bit boring. So let's go with Java EE 8.0. Save it. And what happens is it automatically, it installs automatically the uh, Java 8 features on the fly, which is amazing. So there you don't even have to restart the application server. And now try to deploy the app. So I will just clean and build that. And what should happen behind the scenes? Uh, it should uh, copy the war into the drop-in folder and it works as designed. So we have open liberty dev, user service, Java 8, drop-ins, Java war. And let's see in the folder. So uh, what we see here, we get an error and the error is it says uh, it didn't launch any applications because the default SSL config does not work. And uh, what the server, you see, application is uh, has not started <laughs> in 30 seconds. So web application available in 9080 um, Java EE8. And now is the suggestion. What we should have to do, we will have to use here a key store. Or define the missing elements. So just go with that. So I will do this. I will just switch back here. So, okay, here is your element. Go back. So it's saved. And uh, let's see what happens. So I will just rebuild that and test it. So. And here is the web application Java updated in 0 0.2 seconds. So it's available curl minus e is this and this should be resources uh, pink and we get the enjoy java 8 message and what we should also get is uh, is the output hey open liberty so this was the uh, logging from Java 9. What's, what's um, also useful, as you can see, this is the port 9080. I could actually, on the running system, change the port to 8080. So let's go with that. So, okay, nice. Just do this. 8080. Switch back. And now, this does not work anymore. And if I switch back to 8080, it works. So thank you for watching. See you in upcoming workshops, Java 8, Java 9 conferences, and try out, try out Open Liberty. It's an amazing small little server, perfectly suitable for microservices. Thank you and bye.